So if we're going to export to a tape, these quality settings don't matter. So if they were on, you know, a poor quality, it wouldn't affect the tape. Um, usually, it's good to keep it on the green yellow at a quarter quality because your um, editing will be a lot more efficient than if you actually have it on the full quality setting. So with that being said, to export, you just go up into the sequence that you want to export and you select it. And then you go to file and then you go to the export and then you'll have an export setting but export settings are dependent on codecs and you may not actually um, be sending it to a, a codec that the you know, majority of people have so one way to to fix that is you can go into the options and you can make sure that you're going to the output that you want in my case I want to go to a QuickTime movie so I'm going to click that and then you can go same as source which will use the AVID codex which a lot of people aren't going to have so what you want to do is go to custom click on custom and then click on the format options and that will open up this movie settings so we can go into the movie settings and we can look at all these and uh, we could go into H.264 for instance and a lot of people have that we can go and change our quality from high to best or low or whatever we want change our quality from multi-pass to single pass whatever's going to work best for us and then when we're done we can hit OK and we generally don't need to change anything with our sound we can leave it on the big Indian and 16-bit everything looks good if we don't want to prepare for internet streaming, go ahead and take that off. We'll keep it. We'll hit OK. And these are our heights and our color levels. If we're going to uh, multimedia, if we're going to broadcast, uh, we're going to change this. Generally, don't change the field order. It's going to be set. If there's a problem, you can come back. If there's an interlacing problem, you can come in and change this field order. And let's uh, look at this. If it's the native dimensions, or if you need to change it to square pixels or to 69 uh, square pixels, then go ahead and do that. We'll leave this at the native dimensions and we will hit save. Once we've hit save, we'll name it what we want and we will hit save. And this export dialog box will come up and it will start exporting. Uh, it tells you here that you can type command plus to cancel. If for some reason you've just figured out that you've made some kind of an error and different exporting methods are going to take different amounts of time right now it's writing to a h.264 so it's going to take a lot more time so actually let's go ahead and hit the command plus because this says it's going to take 40 minutes we'll hit command plus command plus period excuse me so we'll hit the command plus period to cancel that out and we will go into our settings again. We'll make sure that we have our sequence selected. And we will go to export. Make sure we have our name, our options. We have it on custom. Let's go into that. And it will open up our movie settings. Let's go to ProRes LT Lite and we don't need to change any of these settings. In fact, we, if we want it really fast, we could go to a proxy. Let's do that, and let's hit OK. We don't need to change our audio settings. Let's hit OK, and let's hit Save. And save it. And this is going to take four minutes and 16 seconds approximately, a lot faster than crunching out that H.264 codec. Now you know how to export movies.